good morning children now we are going to discuss with the artificial satellites and the man made satellites earlier that is in the earlier video i, I explain about the space launch technology and that is a uh, indian mission that now uh, i am going to discuss with the artificial satellite and man made satellites what you will study in this topic that artificial satellite means what man made satellite man made satellite means what that in the solar system uh, you have studied the natural satellite moon is a natural satellite those objects which revolve around the planet that objects are called the natural satellite natural satellite moon is a natural satellite what is this the artificial satellite means what that how it is made that why we send in the space so many questions you have that every question you will get the answer now you see that what exact this artificial satellite artificial satellite it means that is a object which we have made it that and that object has been intentionally uh, we place in the orbit of the earth and that are called the artificial satellite again in other way that artificial satellites are the man made bodies and that revolve around the uh, revolve around the earth and they are used for the multiple purpose like communication weather forecasting remote sensing like that and the example if you want to see that inside one that ir irs and sputnik first what happens this you know the when it is started that this artificial satellite why do we send uh, in the space that what is the uses of that and first who sent in the space you know that the first artificial satellite it was that is a sent or the launch launched by the uh, you know that soviet union that it it, it means that is a russia uh, he was the first country uh, he launched the sputnik first that is the name of that artificial satellite in india is also when the india started to send that is a uh, launch the artificial satellite in the space there you know aryabhatta it was the first artificial satellite which was that is a uh, launched uh, by india the date it was there 19th april 1975 you know different types of the satellites are there and for the different purposes are there communication satellites remote sensing satellites navigation satellites geometric orbit type of satellite global posi um, positioning satellites drone satellites are there ground satellites are there in the different types of satellites we have made for the different purposes are there but exactly before that again you uh, i want to make you clear that what the principles of these satellites the principles of these satellites it means that whatever the objects are there that are the satellites which that is upon that is upon which that is only the force is gravity once launched into the orbit you know when we launch these satellites in the orbit of the earth that time the force of gravity it works that the only the force that is governing the motion of the satellites you know when we place these uh, satellites in the orbit of the earth and that how it was governing that is it was governing the only the force of the gravity of the earth and so that it revolve around the sun how far is satellite from the earth now see that the mostly the students they ask the questions they have they arise the questions in their mind sir we are sending the satellites in the space that but how far it goes that that is exact how much distance is there yes the distance it was there 36000 km from the earth surface that means from the earth surface this satellites we sent uh, upside that is a 36000 km away from the earth surface and after that actually what happens why this only the 36000 km because that area the our astronaut it is said the sweet spot it is there it means that uh, in that area the orbit matches the earth rotation that's why this much distance it was uh, made that and after that uh, they revolve around the sun that most satellites are launched into the space rockets now you see that already in the earlier topics i said whatever the satellite space crafts are there that space crafts and the satellites we send in the space through the help of the with the help of the rocket technology and that after that uh, you know that when the satellites when reach the orbit of the earth that time the speed is balanced up. Uh, that is uh, by the pull of the earth gravity and the speed it is not balanced uh, what happens that satellites would either 
would fly or again they fall back on the earth that's why that speed is very important that speed is speed is balanced by the pull of the earth's gravity and this is a so uh, important that is a matter it is there and scientists they know that and you will also know how it is managed that when you will go in the higher standard when you will study so deeply but here that much you have to understand that without balance okay and currently you know again the questions will arise very important sir till now that so far that how many that satellites are um, orbiting in the earth yes 2218 satellites uh, currently now um, till today this much satellites are orbiting in the uh, space that india is a uh, capable of one satellite that is uh, launching that india has that capacity that they are sending own satellites and launched that in February 2017, you know that one that that time that day it was so great for India that why because on that day India has sent that is a uh, launch the 105 that is 104 satellites at one time in in one go India launched the 104 satellites in the space that this is a very great work you know that and that in that 104 satellites only the three satellites it was Indian and other it was the other countries. Now, so in, that's why the India is now, it is the first country to reach the Mars. And this is also one point you have to understand that India, it was the first country to reach, that is the Mars orbit that. How many satellites India has launched that? Till now that 319 satellites for the 33 con different countries, India is launched the satellites. The uses of these satellites, artificial um, uses, that is artificial satellite uses are there. Uh, information of the agriculture, environment, weather forecasting, making that is a maps, searching for the water and minerals, and that is the wealth on the earth, and they are also used for the telecommunication. These generally uses of the uh, artificial satellite. The questions may ask on this topic also. That's why you have to focus on it. That mostly it goes for the it is a good for the environment, environment monitoring and the climate is that is very important and it is also concentrated on the greenhouse gases also in the atmosphere in this way this is the topic of that is a artificial satellite whatever the topics i have discussed with you that again uh, you have to watch this video till understand and after that whatever the questions will arise you that you note down that now the next topic indian astronaut rakesh sharma i want to discuss with you that you know rakesh sharma about you know that but before that what is the astronaut an astronaut or the cosmonaut is the person trained by the human space flight program those who went in the space that is the astronaut and rakesh sharma he was the first astronaut he could become the first astronaut because uh, he went in the space then what exact that to command the pilot at the serve as a crew member of the space probe astronaut how to undergo extensive training that before going to you know uh, if you want to be a astronaut for that you have to undergo the excess extensive training and testing before they can participate in the space flight if you want to participate if you want to in the space that you should have the training that the the severe training you have to do that and that second point how can they handle the physical rigorous from the high gravity of the launch uh, to the weightless of the order because our mentally also we should that is a uh, strong that here we are living uh, in the gravitational force when we will go in the uh, you know in the space there were no any gravitational force weightlessness this is a position is there and in that position how you behave that is very important that also training it is given here only that and they also must be technically knowledgeable and able to handle the stressful situation you mentally and physically we have to be so powerful and this training it will be given and after that a person um, could become to go in the um, that is astronaut indian astronaut we know that wing commander uh, the rakesh sharma is a former indian air force pilot and who flew abroad the you know suez t11 that Rakesh Sharma, he went in the space and that, that is a, you know, space name it was there, CHT-11 that. And he launched, a, he went in the space 3rd April 1984 with the joint mission of the ISRO and the Soviet Interpost, means the Russia. And that mission, it was, um, uh, that is organized by the Russia and the ISRO and one of the members is there, Rakesh Sharma. I think the seven members, it was there. And the Rakesh Sharma, he spent near about the eight days in the space station. And what happens? You know that at that time, 
uh, our indira gandhi she was the prime minister of india and that time she was uh, you know discuss with the uh, rakesh sharma and indira gandhi was asking the questions to the rakesh sharma uh, rakesh ji uh, you know that how it looks in india uh, from the space that time rakesh sharma also he gave the answer very uh, typical answer and very uh, in good sentence he said that uh, sare jahan se acha it means that is a uh, earth our india it was looking so beautiful and he replied the answer to indira gandhi sare jahan se acha this much you have to keep but i want to give the some homework here that uh, you try to find out indian other astronauts are there you know that kalpana chawla sunita williams and these are also the indian origin astronauts are there you collect the information and write about them and you show me that now i have to stop here there have a great day may god bless you